Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. Guys, in this episode, we are going to be discussing some interesting developing stories for FC Barcelona. We are going to begin with Pedri Gonzalez, you know, talking about the interest that Bayern Munich have been showing in Pedri recently, saying that they want to make a mega money transfer for Pedri next season. The latest on that is that Barcelona have asked Bayern, you know, to pay at least 100 million euros if they ever dream of removing Pedri from Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on that report as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about one of the B team guys who are really impressed, you know, Ilias Akomach. The good news is that Ilias Akomach have been registered finally for the Champions League, so he can now play the upcoming matches. We are going to be discussing on that report as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. According to a report by Catalan outlet El Nacional, Bayern Munich know how much they will need to shell out to secure the services of Pedri. Barcelona are only open to discussing the transfer of the 18-year-old midfield prodigy if the Bundesliga champions are ready to pay 100 million euros to secure his services. Pedri has taken no time to establish himself as a key figure for Barcelona, having featured week in, week out in a difficult time for the club. The Blaugrana did not have enough funds to invest in a midfielder, meaning the young star has fast-tracked into a regular role last season. As a result, he featured nearly 70 times for club and country and became a prominent figure for the Spanish national side. However, an injury has forced Pedri to the sidelines this term, with the 18-year-old managing only 4 outings thus far. That being said, the teenage prodigy has already done enough to turn several clubs across Europe into prospective suitors, with one such team being Bayern Munich. Pedri is not the only Barcelona midfielder to have been linked with Bayern. Frankie de Jong and Gavi are also on the German Giants radar, with Pedri the latest player to have emerged as a key target. According to the recent report, you know, the Bundesliga champions are also preparing an offer to sign Pedri, and Bayern now know how much they will need to fork out you know, to secure the services of the Spanish international with Barcelona demanding at least 100 million euros to part ways with him. Why Barcelona would prefer not to part ways with Pedri, their difficult financial situation means no player in the first team squad is indispensable. According to the report, the same goes for Pedri, and it remains to be seen if Bayern decide to shell out 100 million euros to swoop him away from the Camp Nou. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona have reportedly registered teenager Elias Akomak for the Champions League and the youngster could play against Bayern Munich. Elias was registered on Monday even though Barca knew he wouldn't be able to play against Benfica due to suspension. However, the move means that the 17-year-old could now play in Barca's final group game against Bayern on December 8th. It could be that Elias is needed too, you know, Barca will still be without Aguero, Breadwave and it's not clear, really clear, if Ansu Fati will be fully fit in time of that crucial game. Xavi handed Elias his first team debut in his first game in charge against Espanyol. Of course, the 17-year-old played the first 45 minutes and was replaced at halftime by Ace Abde. Neither Elias nor Abde were able to play against Benfica which meant Xavi turned to Yusuf Demi for the game at the Camp Nou. It will be interesting to see how Xavi lines up his team on Saturday against Villarreal with the youngsters seemingly clearly in his plans for the future. The new boss also has Ousmane Dembele back in the reckoning after the Frenchman made his return from injury as a substitute against Benfica. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.